Hi there, I'm Paul Jennings. I'm the Minister of Stockport Wesleyan Church and I thought what I'd do today is just show you some of the uh, King James Bibles that I've got in my collection. A collection might be a bit of a, a bit of an overstatement but I've got some interesting Bibles and I'll just show you a few of them now. Um, I've got this one. As you can see it's got uh, a leather cover on it. Uh, this is the Bible that I use when I go open air preaching and I've had it for uh, a long number of years now and it's just handy size, it's sort of uh, not too unwieldy and uh, it's been rained on, it's, it's had Pepsi Cola thrown over it once when I was preaching uh, a woman threw a bottle of, of Pepsi Cola all over me and all over my Bible but it's, uh, it's lived to tell the tale. It's, it's quite a nice sort of size, uh, similar size to the Bibles they had in, in William Tyndale's time when they shipped them over uh, from, from Europe into the United Kingdom because of course it was illegal to have a Bible um, in England at that time and they had to be small so you could sort of uh, put them away in your pocket, just secrete them uh, on your person and so that's why uh, one of the reasons I like it, it's small and it's uh, it's very durable. So that's one. Uh, another interesting one that we've got here is uh, is this one. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the uh, the Gideon's uh, image at the bottom there. And this is yeah, this is a Gideon Bible, but it's a King James Gideon Bible. It's the authorized version, and um, you know you see these in hotels, in, in hospitals and places like that. Um, when I was at school they used to give out Gideon's Bible at school. Fortunately they use the NIV I think. I think they still use the NIV. Uh, but this is from the days when they used to use um, the King James Version. I'm not sure this one might have pictures in it as well. But uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a King James Gideon's Bible. This one I've got is again a small one, and it's uh, an, an illustrated, illustrated Bible. Um, I think, I think this is supposed to be Jesus on the front. Doesn't really. Uh, hmm, maybe it's not. This is the Apostle Paul, I believe, um, in his younger days. Um, Saul of Tarsus. Um, and in here there's lots of little illustrations um, so we've got the shepherds and the Lord Jesus as a, as, as a baby and what else Jonathan and David um, David pouring out the water at Bethlehem in 2 Samuel so some quite nice illustrations uh, in, in that one. This one is very interesting. Um, this is just a, a, a King James New Testament only. And uh, strictly speaking, it's not mine. It's my mother-in-law's. Um, and she's from Scotland. And uh, this is produced by the National Bible Society of Scotland. And if you look here on the, front, on the first page, see it's very old I don't know if you can see that um, you'll see there is a, a British flag on there and it says on active service 1914 so this is dated from the First World War and uh, presumably National Bible Society of Scotland gave these to the volunteers to the troops who were going out there to the to the Western Front and there's a, there's a little quote here, it says, Be strong and of good courage, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So, um, they say there's no atheists in trenches. Uh, well, if you're going to take something with you, I think this is something that I'd want to have with me if I was in that situation. So, uh, lots of different Bibles there. Uh, this is my... 
current Bible that I use, again it's the King James, and uh, it was a very kind gift to me from uh, my brother Matthew, aka Truth4JWs, check his uh, channel out here on YouTube. Uh, but this is a great Bible, it's got big text, see look how big that is. So if your eyesight's going a bit like mine is, that's very useful and it's got uh, references down here, down the center columns, which again is very useful for Bible study. And uh, again, it's got that kind of uh, leather cover, which makes it very, uh, very durable. So just a few there from, from my uh, collection. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, I'll see you soon. God bless you.